I guess so. Will you ladies please excuse us? Glimmer said as she switched her attention effortlessly. What did Connors want? Oh, he just told me that I should have placed a second force bubble on Isotope when he was about to fire. He says I have to start thinking about containing the threat from the rest of the team. You benched him, didn't you? He meant to protect the rest of the team. I understand what he's talking about. I know he's going to get on dark speed too, about him trying to take out two from the other team so fast. Connors keeps saying how he has to be more concerned about leading than fighting. I can understand that. Like what was the first target you were given? Glimmer asked. Bench the leader is my standing first target. Exactly. The leader is the direction of the team. Darkspeed has to figure that he's just as much a target to them as when you're told to target their leader. I know that, but he thinks his speed makes him invulnerable. You know when we come into a room like we did tonight? He walks around at super speed and looks to see who's here. Really? And none of us see him? He doesn't make wind or something? No, he controls his friction and stuff, Cosmos asked. What? Why didn't you bench Jacked? During Coach's class, Coach Smith has been telling us how useful a captured brain can be in the field. So, we set the goal of capturing the brain of the other team, if possible, Glimmer explained. I see. Do you think you could capture someone like Virtuoso? If I could get close enough, I'd have to render her unconscious. Although, teleporters are hard to question. They tend to disappear when they come to. That's not a bad idea. The brain or the leader would be the ones to ask questions to, Cosmos agreed. Smith says the brain is better because they usually know technical details about communication and things like that. I remember that. You did great with the sword today, and that glimmer flash must have blinded them, Cosmos said. Thank you. I thought about using my light to bench the stronger ones, but with these new costumes it takes a second. The sword is quicker. Where's Bioforce and Virtuoso? Darkspeed had Virtuoso create an illusion that they were guarding the rack while they were really just standing off to the side. He wanted to keep them in reserve or ready to heal someone. Well, it worked. I'm glad to see our teams are getting along, Smith said to Connors. I figured they would once they got past jockeying for position, Connors said. Did you know Olympia knows every team's hand signals? He does, Connors said with a laugh. That kid can't get enough of anything having to do with fighting. I know, he's already as good as most of the alpha hitters in the field. So is Eclipse. I know, I thought Eclipse was the best that could be recruited. You know, those two together on the New York team would be quite the duo. I'm thinking Dark Speed, Ranger, Cosmos, Ion, the Stealths, and those two hitters to fight with the Brains and the Healers supporting them. Now that's a team. Those 12 to replace the 15 that are on the team there now? I'm seeing some trouble with the transition. Smith continued. The roster there is always in flux, but some of the old timers have real wisdom. They've seen it all. I wouldn't worry about it. Three years in the field babysitting to work out the kinks while they learn the territory, I think they'll do just fine, Connor said. Thanks for the advice with Ranger. He's finally taken to the leadership role. I'm glad to help. Remember, it's not his fault or a weakness. He's just young for the stress on him. If he were an anchor, he'd have been fine. I know I push him hard sometimes. Soccer dad syndrome, I guess. It just makes me happy he took to the role of leader. I see great things for him. Connors turned and cautioned Smith. Just so long as you let him claim it in his own time. Don't add anything to his plate. Are you kidding? He's doing me proud right now.